everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the fifth episode of Soda Demo Ayumu wa Yosete Kuru. And yeah, last episode was a fun one. We had our uh, New Year's, we had Christmas, we had all sorts of exciting stuff. You know, I think we even like cleaned up the club room and fixed the lights. So I'd say it was pretty progress, pretty um, progress progress filled episode. But uh, you know, certainly certainly moving forward. But uh, yeah, I think I think even a TV was involved in some in some capacity. But anyway, let's uh, let's jump into this episode and see exactly what our duo and you know the, our other duo are, are up to. So three, two, one. What's with that background? Is this a dream? This looks like, like a yeah, foggy forest. That's definitely a dream. <laughs> but whose dream is a question? Yeah, you, you're you're getting kind of close there, man. Yeah. But it's probably gonna cut off before the good part. If I know dreams, and I and I do. <laughs> that is what a kiss is, yes. And yeah, of course, it's senpai's dream. And of course, the cat is on top of her. Cats like to do that. <laughs> well, there you go. You got your, <laughs> you got your kiss. Are you happy now? Ironically, my or coincidentally, my cat is on me currently. Although he doesn't really lick, you know. He'll headbutt me sometimes. He'll paw at my face until I just decide to pet him. But yeah, not not much of a licker. Yes, but yeah, for Ayumu, you know, it's always a good sign when you, the girl you like has dreams about you. It means she probably likes you. Especially when an almost an almost kiss is involved. But. Uh. It, was in, it was an interesting setting for the dream, too. Like, you'd think the dream would take place in the club room, because that's where she has the, the strongest memories of Ayumu, you know? But I guess dreams aren't always logical like that. And there's the cat, yeah. I want to. <clears throat> I want to know more, senpai. <clears throat> My voice. <clears throat> I. I mean, that's the obvious interpretation of such a thing. <laughs> but we must deny it. I think that's the guy in question. It would be funny if he also had a dream about her at the same time. Uh, what does that say? Beans? Of course. What else would he possibly get? Yeah, it totally says beans. I guess that could be a, a weird smudgy S. I don't know, but I'm going to go with it being beans. Yeah, more of these short senpai problems. <laughs> Keep going, you'll, you'll get it eventually. <laughs> she knew. She knew that camera was already ready. <laughs> yeah, as it as it should be. You can't properly capture the jumping otherwise. Checked by you. Okay. All right, because <laughs> it has a nice cover. Y 
Yankee Nico place over there. <laughs> that would be cool, wouldn't it? It's a good question. How does something that's already really good get better? Yeah, you really have to have a solid mental image of Shogi and the board and everything to do that. Oof, well, the cat's no longer on my lap. <laughs> the lightning. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Naturally, he imagines you. Oh, 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 we're throwing that question at her. Okay, uh, how do you how do you respond to that one? <laughs> and the answer is obviously yes. Just will she say it? Um, good thing we have an opportunity to change the subject here. Open for business. Okay, definitely knows her. I bet. <laughs> I just love his lack of hesitation. Is there a problem with that? Baby star topping. It's fine, don't don't worry about it. I'm sure he's nicer than he looks. Okay, that explains a lot. <laughs> How horrible. Rassif what what did I just read there? Uh Yeah, that is, that is true. She now has somebody to actually play with. Aren't you happy to be able to be that person? <laughs> uh, glad to be here, sir. <laughs> what if I say pretty, please? Oh, that actually does look pretty good. Also pretty big. Right, <laughs> that little loophole there. I see. You can just get like a beverage and sip it really, really, really slowly. You know the Starbucks method. She dual wields now. Senpai can't be stopped. And that thing is so big. Get a pizza cutter, just jun 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 jun. I'm um, yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> so we are jumping back onto that. He just whips out his notebook. 
<laughs> That's that is pretty cute. <laughs> Uh, she's a big girl now. Okay, don't hurt, don't hurt yourself. Uh, a huge tongue. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> that was just, that was great. <laughs> no, I need, I need more of this. <laughs> uh, that, that might be thumbnail. I don't, I don't know. That was that was too good. Especially the like immediate transition to her looking really embarrassed. Uh, God sent by just the most adorable thing ever. I mean, I guess he didn't see. I guess he didn't actually see the flashbacks like we did. But of course she was. <laughs> Kitty cat. Oh yeah, it's definitely a kitty cat. <laughs> Senpai, this is a big deal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the same cat. Not sure how it got here. But, <laughs> yeah, it's quite the face. <laughs> I have heard that before. Especially in anime. A trick? Okay. I and mean, I can do that with my cat. <laughs> uh, yeah, she wants you to pet her instead. It looks borderline smug, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking about the cat, you know, why would you be embarrassed, you know? You're going to lose. And rather, okay. <laughs> Definitely resembles her owner. <laughs> no, I don't want to be separated from you. <laughs> Of course, she cuts them off. Okay. Oh, okay. We're we're getting back to the dream here. Yeah, I definitely learned a lot about Senpai today. It was a good day. <laughs> and obviously the cat's happy to meet you too. So I assume we're about halfway through, yeah. Are we going to focus on anyone else? Yeah, I was about to say. These two. Sakurako and Takeru, yeah. <laughs> a little bit nervous there, man. I mean, we're pretty clearly on like a date here. Prepare for disappointment. Yeah, <laughs> that is quite clearly what this is. Hello? Oh, this is the movie. Okay, I was like, do we know this character? But it's the movie, obviously. Johnny. 
Is Johnny a murderer? I, I feel like he is. <laughs> okay. So what kind of movie is this? Perhaps a zombie apocalypse where we're trapped inside of an abandoned building. Zombies all around us. Running low on food and supplies. You know, you really should be holding hands right now to maximize the date experience. Oh, we actually, we actually are gonna go for it. Okay. I was half joking, but okay, Sakurako. Just going for it. Uh, okay. What exactly is she doing? Uh, it's actually a little bit, uh, <clears throat> that, 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 that is something. It's kind of almost looter than actual regular hand holding. Uh. Oh, okay, she's imitating the movie. Gotcha. Well, depending on how the movie goes, this could get quite exciting for us. Uh. I wouldn't read into it that much, but, uh, she is looking at you. <laughs> Just that woman in the movie is just so damn hot, isn't she? Like, I. <clears throat> it's almost distracting. But, uh. <clears throat> just, just wait for that kissing scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is definitely like a post apocalyptic kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, Johnny, I'm so happy you're alive. You're alive. Yeah, there, there's the arm grabbing. Uh, also, are they like the only ones in this movie theater? I don't really see anyone else. Are we getting going into sniffing territory? <laughs> okay, yeah, we're getting real close here. Uh, starting, to, starting to sweat a little bit. Yeah, just, just hope this is an 18 plus movie. Because it looks like we're about to at least get to a kiss in here. Like, that's clearly what this is. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I got the gist of it. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. Hope you're ready, man. Oh, I mean, those, that face, uh, uh, I mean, obviously something's gonna interrupt it, because we can't go so far only, only halfway to the series, right, so. Okay, yeah. He's gonna turn into a zombie. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay, I, 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 I wasn't expecting that, I, uh, uh. He just became a tree. What the fuck? Uh, okay, Taka dude, can you imitate that? <laughs> that actually really caught me off guard. Uh, <laughs> like I was expecting, maybe he becomes a zombie or dies or you know explodes. It wasn't wasn't expecting that one. Uh, but Christ kiss crisis averted, I guess. <laughs> That's a pretty big change. <laughs> I bet you would have. I mean, narrative, narratively speaking, they wouldn't have had to do the whole tree thing if, you know, that wasn't the case. <laughs> he did not get much out of the movie, but I'm pretty sure he enjoyed the experience overall. Yeah, then that was a great date, yeah. I kind of wish I could see the, all the parts we missed of the movie. It actually looked fairly interesting. Absolute best book for me to day one. And 
And that would be... <laughs> oh, wow. The pic, the video, I should have known. Yeah, hey, if you don't want to, just, just send it to me. Just make it to an animated GIF, it'll be great. <laughs> it's, it's not weird at all. <laughs> well, don't hurt yourself with your phone. Also, I think you accidentally dialed it. Yeah, a little bit too late now. This system was kind of made for you here. It's kind of, yeah, a forehead dial, you might call it. A massive forehead. That almost sounds like an excuse that soon that it would make. <laughs> I didn't call you because of, I wanted to, but just uh, actually dialed your, your, your phone number, you know. Almost like it's almost like you're sleeping together. <laughs> I'm sure a very specific kind of dream comes to her mind after he says that. You could say that. Yeah, I knew I knew she was gonna lie. I'll dream about, you know, little senpai and making a big mess of herself. <laughs> yeah, we are... I'm glad we kind of brought that up, because that is, yeah, kind of the vibe. Because <laughs> we're even, like, facing each other, sort of, you know? Like, it works. Imagine if she fell asleep while the phone was still on, and then he could watch her start, or he does, you know. Okay. The kind of the reverse of what I was trying to say there. So she can watch him all night now. But she chooses not to. I mean, I would kill the batteries, so. Yeah, good luck falling asleep now. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to help the whole going to bed thing. Ugh. Ugh. And that second half really zoomed by. Yeah. We see them as a trio, but is, am I crazy? We have not really gotten them as a trio hanging out in the show. Really. You know, it's kind of ironic. Sakurako's our hypnotism girl, but, you know, the way she was kind of imitating the movie, it's almost like the movie was hypnotizing her in a way. Yeah, then just the uh, credits just roll. Okay. Okay. Well, that was the fifth episode of Sora Demo Ayumawa Yosete Kuru. And definitely another really solid episode of, of this of this show, right? We started off with some um, some dreams from Senpai, right? 
Which, uh, yeah, it goes to show just how much she likes Ayumu. I don't, think don't, 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 I don't think there's any real doubting that, really. If only Ayumu knew that she dreamed of him, but um, of course she was never going to tell him that, because uh, that would be quite embarrassing to say, right? But we also got more of the amazing senpai jumping, right? And we got it on, on video as well, so that's always a, that's always a good thing. But uh, I do like how he sent it to her at the, at the end. But, but uh, yeah, we had that. And then we had this, like, um, okonom Okonomiyaki place, right? Which sort of kind of doubles as a shoki place, right? It's kind of like, a, you know, run by a family friend sort of, sort of situation. And we got, he, he was a good source of information about Senpai, right? We got to see all those um, flashbacks and whatnot. But it was, yeah, really great to get, to get all that stuff. You get to see Senpai dual wielding those um, cutter thingies, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what they'd be exactly. But um, yeah, it was just seeing her burn her tongue and making a mess of herself. Just just, just great flashbacks sort of stuff. Definitely, definitely worth going there without question. And we even got to see the cat, right? Which apparently is her cat, but just kind of wanders outside as it, as it pleases, I, I guess. But uh, yeah, that whole bit was great. With the whole pet's been some similar to their owners kind of thing, and you know. These sort of like secondhand compliments, I, is that what you'd call it? I don't know, because he keeps praising the cat and then she takes this praise towards herself because they're similar, right? So he gets to lavish senpai with praise and stuff without actually doing that. So that was a fun little thing we had there, definitely. Just seeing senpai embarrassed just, just kind of gives me a laugh, so I, I enjoyed all that. And then we actually had some, some uh, yeah, stuff with Takeru and Sakurako. I'm pretty sure we didn't actually see anything about the movie before we jumped into it. I'm going to check that real quick. Because we just see the outside of the theater. And then next thing we see, they're already inside. So we don't actually get any kind of insight into what the movie is about until we, until we like, really jump into it. But, like, aside from, yeah, all we really know is that it's very much a date. Takeru, Takeru is aware of it being a date. The first, when I first saw the girl on there, I mean, well, the first thing I thought was, like, did we change, did we change to something else? But, uh, no, I... It was obviously just a movie, and I was thinking this was some, some sort of like horror kind of movie, probably because I'm kind of in a horror mindset because last night I watched a, what's it called, Paranormal Activity for the first time, right? I watched that, so I was kind of thinking, you know, is this guy just going to murder her? But uh, no, they're, you know, obviously together, and uh, they, we never, we still never really got any kind of synopsis on, synopsis on the movie, but I guess it's some kind of, yeah, a duo trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world kind of thing, right? It's got to be something to that effect, for sure. Like, they didn't really tell us much, really, about what's going on. Even the visuals we get, really, you can't really interpret too much from. Aside from maybe some kind of virus going on, I don't know. Uh, because we did have him turn into a tree, I still don't know the logic behind that one. But, um, yeah, obviously one of the exciting bits of this whole stuff was the fact that Sakuraka was imitating... The, the main heroine of the movie, right? And uh, it, was, it was quite something, you know? I was so confused when she was initially doing the, like, hand tra tracing thing with her finger, right? Because I was like, oh, we're going to do some quick handling, that's cool. And then she just starts doing something with her finger, and I'm just sitting here confused because, you know, not that that's a weird action to do necessarily, but, like, she didn't really strike me as the kind of person that would do that specific sort of thing, if that makes any sense at all. But... Once you find out that she's emulating something she sees on screen, it obviously obviously makes a lot more sense. But uh, yeah, of course, uh, the kissing we had to put put a stop to that because that's just, we can't get, have that much. We can't get that ahead of the main couple, you know. So maybe maybe next time, maybe maybe on our next date, we'll have a, a movie that doesn't stop the kissing scene because of a tree, right? Oh, always possible. And then we had one final scene, final scene between between you know Ayamu and Senpai and. The phone and all that. Just a nice little way to end things off. You know, not, not really too much to say about this scene that I didn't say during it, but... I wasn't really expecting him to be the one to fall asleep. But, uh, yeah, that's how it goes sometimes, I guess. What, 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 what would have been something if they both fall asleep and leaving their phones on, you know? That would have been funny, but... But, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed the episode. That's pretty much all I had to say about it, so... Thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Until then... Bye-bye.